Hello folks, my name is Doug Zepp. I'm a songwriter. I've written over 1,200 songs and I've had approximately 25 recorded. Each song I had recorded made the top 100 in Billboard's music charts. But the lowest I got was number 41 by Peggy Sue Wright. God bless her and her husband for doing as many of my songs as they did. I'm forever grateful to them. But I'm 89 years old and next year I turn 90. And I'd like to know if you can help me get a YouTube hit before I leave this old world. And since I'm going to be cremated, I wrote this song over 45 years ago. Uh, help me make a good showing on this YouTube hit by the number of hits I get on YouTube and I will come back in a month and tell you some stories about my life you will not believe. I can show you documents to prove everything I say is true. Uh, I've had a lot of people tell me stories, but they couldn't back them up. I've got documents to back up my stories, such as Nashville publishers returned a lot of my songs saying, sorry, we can't use them because I was not one of the boys. And unknown songwriter, that same year, I got a letter from the president of the United States of America thanking me for writing a song about him. And I, I'll show you that letter uh, the next time I make a YouTube video. And he told me in the letter that he appreciated me writing a song about him. And it was awful nice of me to do so. And that he greatly appreciated it. And that he also said in that letter that tomorrow my song would be read by some congressman. I do not know his name. I can't remember it, but it is in the letter, which I will show you. We'll read it and record it the next day into the Library of Congress, and it will be there forever. Uh, I could even give you the page number, and you could go look it up and verify it, but I'll show you the document they sent me. They sent me a page out of the congressional record proving that it was read and put into the congressional record. But as I said, I'll be 90 years old in 2019. And I don't know if I'm putting this out before Christmas or after Christmas, and that's why I say that. But this song appears to be appropriate. I wrote it over 40 years ago, probably 45 years ago. And it's called Drop the Ashes Over Nashville because I am going to be cremated like my wife. I lost her June 10th of this year. And I hope someday to play a song that I wrote about her. We were married 67 years. And God blessed me with one of the best women a man could ever ask for a wife. So please help me get as many hits on YouTube, and I will share some more crazy, unbelievable stories about my life. God has been so good to me, and God bless all of you, and I appreciate your help. Now, I'm not a singer. I can't play the guitar. Worth a damn. Excuse me, I don't curse. But that's my expression. But I'm, I'm going to do it. I've got a copy of a guy who demoed it for me. I don't believe it was ever recorded, but I'm going to sing it my way. And maybe later I'll let you hear the way the boy demoed it at Bradley's Barn in Nashville at my expense. So it goes like this, drop the ashes over Nashville. And this is my last request because like I said, I will be cremated. I wrote a lot of songs The world will never hear 
But it's not because I didn't try Every time I sent one in It came right back again So please do me this favor when I die. Turn my guitar and my song and my body into dust and put them on a Nashville Tell the pilot and the crew All I want them to do Is drop the ashes over Nashville On a Saturday night My guitar and my song and all that's left of me Will be right where I dreamed I'd be someday Carve my name on a headstone Let the world know where I've gone Say I've gone to Music City Turn my guitar and my song And my body into dust And put them on a Nashville-bound flight Tell the pilot and the crew Is drop the ashes over Nashville on a Saturday night. Drop the ashes over Nashville on a Saturday night. Thank you, and God bless you, and I appreciate anything you can do to make this thing do something.